I'm Todd Grisham. There's no other venue like it. Welcome inside the Grand Theater. Alongside me, English fighting legend Johnny Nelson. It's action. It's action night. It's time for our tale of the tape. Muhammad Ali. He is the great. Deontay Wilder, bronze bomber. Only 216 pounds, but one of the biggest hitters in heavyweight history. If this fighter knows how to use that reach, this is going to be a shut nut. This bout is scheduled for 12. We welcome you to this beautiful theater. Shakespeare has nothing on the drama that we've seen between these two fighters. These two fighters promised us an offensive show. Let's see if they deliver. So much firepower here. His jab just got blocked. Good counter punching for both these athletes. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Don't want to go tit for tat in there in this fight. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just misses with that big right hand. This fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. With sluggers, you cannot let them get into a rhythm because this is how they train. This is how they prepare for a fight. This is what they'll do all night. Do not dance their dance. You've got to use speed. That counter shot lands. Gets out of the way of that left hand. Hands with the right counter. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Nice counter shot with the right hand. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. And there's the bell to start round two. Got out of the way of that right hook. He threw the hook, didn't land. He's got a massive reach advantage. Let's see if he uses it. Very smart. Very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fighters can do that. Left counter score. They're giving us a high tempo show. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he misses with that jab. Let's see if these two heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to showboat and show off them. Blam! It's over. So they've got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. That left counter was perfectly timed. 
Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think right. There's the bell to start round three. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Do you believe what we are seeing? and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way and they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Counter punch. Got his gloves up to block the left jab. Both men step back for just a moment. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. the way the connect percentages have to be off the charts. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Good counter left hand there. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. You know, I've been in Here's the bell to start round four. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? We know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? They just missed with that big right hand. Catch and shoot. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself down trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Good counter punching. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. These men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Neither man really defending themselves. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Tell this guy he's got to do something different. Look absolutely exhausted. What are you going to... There's the bell for round five. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help them to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. 
because you know what you can do in the gym, you can do it in the fight. You've got to relax. Blocks the right hook. On her right. Wanting to land the left hook, but was not successful. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power. And I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring with fights like that, and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Men step back for just a moment. Not a lot of punch out, but thought there might be more action here. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Good left counter that lands. Good counter right hand again. Great counter right hand there. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight. And here's the bell to start round six. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight fire with fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play too. Not a lot of defense here at all. By the way, the connect percentages have to be off the charts. Got someone with that hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Right punch. Carries the right jab away. Both men step back for just a moment. Left punch. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. could not have come soon enough for this guy. Every second, every minute of this fight. And there's the bell for round seven. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. What you've got to do, Tony, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope. You're never going to know where the shots are coming from. you just got to put in a guess. Got to let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. For boxing, this is a fight. He blocks that jam. 
Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Watch that jab. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. And they're back at it again here in round eight. And he just missed with that left jab. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. He fails to score with that left hook. with that jab. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Big right hand just misses. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots and they're coming at lightning speed. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close rounds. Good right hand. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. Wow, it's like two different leagues. And we enter the night. He misses with that jab. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Whiff with the right hook. And they figure out the combination to this safe. He parries that left jab away.
how nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Nice job by him to block that jab. what we are seeing. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter, and the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. This is the 10th. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. I've never seen a fight so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they run out of speed. Left hook just missed. Good one. Swing and a miss with the hook. and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. with the left. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. Start 11. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Both men step back for just a moment. Blocks the jab. You'd like to see more jabs. A 
the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrows, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them, skimming. Go for speed. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. Big left there, but misses. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. At this point, you got to believe he can't win on the scorecards. Going to need a knockout. Wow, you know what? I've been in fights like that. When you're thinking, come on, Bell, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. thought we would have made it to 12. Another scoring shot there. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Neither man really defending themselves. Exchanges from both men in this round. Trying to answer back. Big hook thrown, but it doesn't connect. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? Men step back for just a moment. And just as quickly as it slows down, it heats back up. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Excited decision there, a unanimous one. What a whitewash. You know, that's skills, that's class, that's levels. One is up there, one is down there, but you know what? The loser is going to have to learn, learn a big, big hard lesson. I totally agree.